Welcome to the Slow Newsweek Podcast, Episode 4. The Slow Newsweek Podcast, where we uh, cover all the biggest stories from the past week that the mainstream news is too scared to divulge further, so we do it for you. I mm-hmm. am joined here by Simon James. Hello. Wonderful. And I am... Lachlan McIntyre. Wonderful. We can use my name for this one. Sorry, yeah. Lucky Mac. Lucky Mac. That's the tag. Yeah. How's your week like, been? Yeah, pretty good. How have yours been? Because I didn't ask you last time. How's your week been? Uh, pretty busy, honestly. Back at uni. Back at university. Yep. Had my first lecture this morning. Um, mm-hmm. Within two minutes of being on the uh, lecture, the teacher goes, hey guys, if you've got a dog or a cat or a pet, you know, hold them up to the camera so we can see. And the first comment in the chat is, uh, my dog is licking her bit, so I'll leave my webcam off, thanks. Cool. So it's good to be back um, at uni. <laughs> Really miss those characters. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, I said it before. Confident losers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. That's what will bring good. us down. Yeah. That's an awful thing to say. It was. It was. Anyway, um, I'd love to open up by asking you to basically give us our first story because I always feel oh, like okay. I always feel like I'm stepping on your metaphorical toes. Right. And Why that's not how our toes should be. Our toes should be conjoined. What do you call like you, webbed feet? What do you call them? Conjoined. No, but when you when you put your people's fingers together and then what are they, what's that called? Where are they in between? Achieving peace. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Achieving world peace. No, we like we put like your toe goes here, then my go to toe goes. Basically, Disgusting. <laughs> if, that's weird. I'm asking, can I massage your feet? The <laughs> but I think conjoined is the right word. It's like when those twins come out with their heads together. Starting on our first story. <laughs> Waverley College. Oh, good, 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 good. Bans mullet as hairstyle becomes popular again. Popular again. Yeah. That's from the Daily Telegraph. Sydney school principals, principals yep. say the dreaded mullet is back in fashion and many are taking steps to ban it on their school grounds. The boys will face a trip to the barber if they continue to sport their retro do's. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I'm biased in this situation because yeah, I have got the... Fuck. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. Yeah. But it, that is actually... For those listening, Simon was stroking my mullet <laughs> quite vigorously. So that's a mullet. And they actually address in here, they don't like mullets, skullets... What's a skullet? Or, or frullets. So a skullet is literally just the back. So yeah. you've just got the back growth. But it leaks down. It's really long, real long. Uh, okay. And, a, and a, is a front? Is that kind of guess that that is just the front? It's literally just the front. It's like with like like a little ball at the front. It makes me think of the Pope, but I know it's the other way. No, it's the the, the friars. The friars. Yeah, that's, that haircut is dead set a hate crime in itself. Yeah, it is. It that's is awful. disgusting. I mean, that's. I think you should be allowed to have the malts however you want them, but that's just Waverley's really just stuck their nose up there, haven't they? They have. They're trying to control people, over control. Which is never a good idea, I don't think. If you had to ban one haircut, you're okay, so you're a principal mm-hmm. at a prestigious Sydney, any school actually, any school in the world, but you're a prestigious principal, what's the first haircut you're banning, male or female? Um, we're talking on top of the head or? <laughs> <laughs> a few Brazilians? All right, everyone drop their pants. Anyone with a Brazilian <laughs> is going Suspension! Straight, straight to the barber. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's just like the barber is me. <laughs> the barber. <laughs> oh, that's a tough. Um, oh. A hairdresser weighed in, Joe Bailey, right? He says, yeah. he says, I don't think they're attractive. I don't think they're flattering. And I think they kind of scream bogan. I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> he's certainly not wrong. Uh, and it's his job. He'd see heaps of haircuts all day. So yep. he'd get a good judgment of it. Definitely. But... I think Laura Johnson, yep. who founded Mullet Fest, okay. all right, makes a good point. She goes, you can't judge a book by its cover, so you shouldn't judge a man by his mullet. True. It's true. True. It's true. Just because you have a mullet doesn't mean you're not a hardworking Australian. I, I, I mean, the majority of people who have yelled at me mm-hmm. whilst on the roads for doing the speed limit have been gentlemen with mullets. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay. I think I can say enough. gentleman. I know say gentleman's. Yeah. Gentleman is already the plural. Some of the hardest working people I know, though, yeah, have mullets. Thank you. Like you wouldn't know this. I'd say Thank the you. hardest working person in our country would have to be the prime minister. Surely, surely. Now, what a lot of people don't. Let's know, get political. What a lot of people don't know about yeah. Scott. S- Scotland for Scotland. Scott. Scott. Scotland's his full name. All right, Scotland Morrison. <laughs> right. What a lot of people don't know about him is he actually wears one of those. I'm not gonna call it a skull cap, but it's like that skin cap. So actually, okay. when he goes home, he has a filthy mullet. He does. He just covers it up with a little skull cap. How did you find this skin cap? Oh, I do some catering for his family every now and then. You do catering for his family? Yeah. <sighs> little sausages. Do you want to know what he eats? Um, I'd love. This is really random, but sure. No, I don't actually do catering for his oh, family. Oh, okay. Well, that's this point. I'm sure he'd like um, avocado. You'd sure he'd like avocado? Who doesn't? Hey, uh, we're really united. <laughs> Stop we, controlling before, students. Before we controlling, don't you dare control them. <gasps> hey, teachers, leave those kids alone. Don't you dare control them. Before we move on, what is the actual haircut that you would love to just have disappear? Disappear. Yeah. See, it's not really a haircut. Yeah. I'm just not a fan of the blue colouring and... Blue colour, um, yeah. Pink colour. Just any exotic colour, you're dyeing your hair and basically killing your hair. That's what you're doing. Like, if, if you dye your hair any colour, mm-hmm. any person who would do that, well, <laughs> I think, should be shot. <laughs> Fair I just would get rid of uh, mutton chops. Oh, lucky I didn't realise. Sorry, you no, it's okay. hair. Yeah, no, you have coloured hair. No, a lot of people think it's natural. Oh, you are, you're exactly what I'm talking about here, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, that was a mistake. No, nah, that's right. So are you. That's okay. We're still friends, yeah. So my story is Japan Naked Festival Hadaka Matsuri goes ahead in Okayama. An annual gathering. Sorry. sorry. Could you read it again? Yeah, of course. Half that sounded like it needs to be translated. Uh, the Japanese Naked Festival, also known as Hadaka Matsuri, I know I'm pronouncing that wrong, goes ahead in Okayama, which is a city in Japan. An annual gathering described as a writhing ball of flesh that has, <laughs> that has been held for 500 years has managed to go ahead um, despite the pandemic. Really? So, I'll, you, for people listening, you won't be able to see this photo, but I'll describe it to you. It's like, imagine the, the there's a photo of them participating in this gathering. Imagine human centipede, but in a mosh pit. <laughs> and instead of being conjoined from ass to mouth, <laughs> it, everyone's, everyone's conjoined crotch to crotch. Cheek to and cheek. And from the looks of it, it's, it's a, dense. 100% male as well. Oh, it is! Oh, when you zoom in, it's just all men. It's all the boys. They've definitely gone to their, like, they've been seeing a girl for a couple of weeks. You should definitely come along. He's like, ah, oh, it's kind of, it's one of the boys' things. No, 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 I do reckon 500 years ago, it definitely was an even mix. It yeah. was an even mix, and then it eventually started, people started being, in that mosh, you can get away with murder. It's So essentially, if you're listening, I'll put up all these photos if you're watching the videos, but... Far out. Men of all ages in Japan, so young and old, put on loincloths and they run around in what looks like waist deep water. Yeah. And they all they're all smiling, they're all splashing about, they're all having a great time. So it's just um a <laughs> that's a, <laughs> a blatant shot of a lot of young men's asses. <laughs> what was he expecting that one? And uh, it says <laughs> So the whole, I, I don't know what the point of this is, but in 2016, the festival was designated an important, intangible folk cultural asset by UNESCO. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't actually know what they what they do it for, yeah. but um, it, it's 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 something they do. It's and, something um, they do. It's something they do. <laughs> no, but this oh, is wait, so oh, I guess strange. better. It gets better. Um, pr- uh, how, what would they say? However, in the midst of global pand- pandemic, organisers have been forced to plan celebrations that are a bit more modest. Priests at this specific temple in... So do it in the temples. Calls of priests. <laughs> okay. Temples in Okayama were reluctant to call the whole thing off because they uh, instead they reached a compromise which saw a modest gathering of around 100 youths turning up in their fu- fundoshi loincloths for a severely downsized and somewhat distanced festival. Mm-hmm. They say somewhat distanced. They're all basically cheek to cheek. <laughs> yes. They're, I'm glad, they're on top of each other. I'm glad they've gone, 
Get as many youths as we can into well, the Well, he went away chucking a few loincloths on. Loincloths. Yeah. And going and having a little party ourselves like this. Looks, oh, like, a, looks like a riot. It does. It looks like a lot of fun. I was planning a Europe trip. <laughs> but uh, I'm thinking... The stopover is going to have to happen. So you guys will be stopping over in uh, Abu Dhabi to get... Is there any chance we can stop in Okayama? No. It's totally out of the way. <laughs> Can we go there for two to three days? <laughs> I've already bought my loincloths. <laughs> All right, talking about miscellaneous sexual deeds. Okay. This may shock a lot of listeners, what I'm about to say, especially the, um, the avid... Simon um, lost his virginity last night. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yep. He was really kind to me. And, um, and he was the most inflatable man you've ever met. <laughs> oh, it's weird. I bought like a fat sex toy. It was strange. A fat sex toy. Yeah, he was like, you, didn't, you still didn't. You still felt like a, a sex toy in shape was out of your league. I just didn't. Yeah, I just didn't want him after we did it to say something about me. You know, like be like, oh, he was a bit too chubby for me. In the moment. I, I'd imagine that if you slept with a sex doll that was skinny, the mm. wind would somehow pick it up and blow it away, and so you've just just been used. They've just hit it and quit it. It's funny you say that. That was my nightmare last night. That was your nightmare yeah, last yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. It's like a balloon floating. Maybe it wasn't a nightmare. All right. So this is going to disappoint a lot of um, avid listeners or watchers of Deal or No Deal. Uh, Then don't say it. It's a classic. It's a classic show. What's Andrew done now? Andrew O'Keefe battles with sex addiction. Okay. Good. What bothers me (laughs) first is I used to go to primary school down the road from where he lived in Linfield. And I'm not saying he could have fucked me, <laughs> but I'm no. shocked. I'm uh, shocked. <laughs> we, uh, we never got one of those sexual deviant knocks on the door from him to be like, hey, guys, <laughs> just wanted to let you know I live up the road <laughs> and I love sex. I'm getting out of the frame as quickly as possible. <laughs> No, but he lived so close. It's nothing to do with kids. <laughs> no, I'm not saying it did. You just I, said, just I like, used to go to primary school. <laughs> yeah, up the up the road from him. And don't these people have responsibility? Your immediate follow up to him saying he has a sex addiction. When I was in primary school, <laughs> he lived up the road. I, uh, in high school, he was still in Linfield. Well, I, I was somewhere else. We well, don't have to report if you have a sex addiction. Yeah, I know. Like I know I people knock like... on the door, be like, Hi, I'm legally obliged to tell you that I am indeed. I think you should. Uh, I think you are a sexy young man. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the idea of him coming into like a school and being like, hey guys, just want to let you know, I love sex. <laughs> yeah, still love- Not with any of you. No. But if any of your no. parents are free, <laughs> any, any, I just want to get the word out there as quickly as possible. Oh. <laughs> and I know how you little kids talk and you don't have any filters. So tell your parents. Yeah. 418 New Hampshire Road. I always leave the back door unlocked. That is a double meaning. So if you ever feel like coming by, let me know. Mummy and daddy fighting too much. Send mummy my way. (laughs) 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 All right, all right, all right. right, right. right. I've got like a little fact about it. Yeah. Um, Within months of separating from his wife, Uh Eleanor, in 2017, O'Keefe was filmed kissing a brunette during a night out at the Den nightclub in Tassie. Not a brunette. Yeah, brunette. How, how disgusting. The 21-year-old uni student. Sorry, how old? 21-year-old uni student. Okay. Mm-hmm. In her defense, if you're a 21-year-old uni student in Tasmania. Yeah. And you're Famous on a, and, guy. Like, and you're on a night out. You're like, is that the fucking guy from Deal or No Deal? Yeah. I'm definitely going to fuck him. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, Even the age difference is about, you know, he's late 40s, he's still, I think. You've been watching him since you were a child. You're like, you always thought you'd guess the right briefcase and you grow <laughs> up and you see him in person. You're like, I've got a briefcase you can open. <laughs> oh, apparently she actually asked him for a photo. Oh. And he just gets with her. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> he, he, she, he was like, oh, look, she may be painting it out. Like, she, maybe she was going for it to make him look worse. Who knows? We don't know. We don't know. Let's, but the way she made it out him. was like, we had a photo. She grabbed, no, he grabbed me and kissed me. Awful thing to do. Yep. Definitely don't grab someone if they obviously just want to get a photo and they don't mm-hmm. want to actually plant one on you. Yes. <laughs> I imagine he's, he's quite drunk. Yeah, definitely. No, that, that that was the thing. The quote was like, definitely, he's off, he was off his face. Definitely not going to defend him and be like, oh, maybe she was drunk. Maybe she lent in. Don't be a fucking weirdo at a club and kiss chicks. 
Very strange, man. Save that for your pillow when you get home, like <laughs> we do. Yeah. Obviously. Make my pillow get a lot of loving. Have to replace it once a year. <laughs> now, they, they actually, just to finish this off, and then you can segue it. Yeah. But they compared O'Keefe with Kanye in the article. They were, like, saying he's cut from the same cloth. Fame and, and uh, sex addicts go hand in hand. Right. Do you think that's true? I oh, absolutely. When I think of Andrew O'Keefe, I think of Kanye West. <laughs> <laughs> What's that song you did? Um, stronger power, more than ever, 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 never, da, 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 Another song, yeah. Um, I need you right now. Yeah, that's what Andrew O'Keefe was saying in that nightclub when that young woman was hastily making her way away from him. Yeah. I need you right now. Let's get lost tonight. You can be my black hate boss tonight. Oh. Play secretary, I'm the boss tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. It is quite, yeah. I reckon... I, it's I, quite relevant, isn't I it? I think he doesn't actually have a sex addiction, and that's his cover-up. Because when he brings all these women home, back to his place, he just plays reruns of Deal or No Deal. <laughs> and he's like, when she came down, I already knew which one with the briefcase was in. Like, I guessed it. And he just makes them watch Deal or No Deal with him. <laughs> just so this is what I was thinking at that point. Just before she... The funny in. thing is, she actually stepped on my toe there and I did the rest of the episode with a bruised toe. <laughs> turns, out, turns out every person that's been on the show has met him in a nightclub and then he's like got them on the show to like, you know, set it up for them to win. Kissed like, her in a nightclub as well. Smooched him in a nightclub. <laughs> 70 year old man holding the 20 briefcase. <laughs> Gave him a sloppy wet kiss. <laughs> oh, I can picture him. I can picture him. Wonderful man. Well, I think there's a bit of a theme to everything we're doing today. Um, in terms of, you know, things that are unwanted. Yeah, I've got, I've got a segment going to be ready for So, this. this is from Vice News. Eight men just blocked Virginia from banning unwanted dick pics. Mm. So, I'll read the first little bit to you. A bill to ban unsolicited dick pics sailed unanimously through the Virginia State House before being killed in a Senate committee by eight men last week. That might seem like an outrage, but very few places, it turns out, take cyber flashing as seriously as flashing in real life. So, basically what happened was... They tried to outlaw unsolicited dick pics and say that you could actually be jailed for up to a year and had a fine of $2,500. You go either or, or you could get both for sending an unsolicited dick pic. And it just got the money. Well, you don't get a choice. They don't say, do you want the money or a year in prison? Oh, okay. But it just... I haven't been to the courts. (laughs) I don't know how the system works. I just I just snap away and... Got a lot of... um, Instagram photos to unsend though. <laughs> you start, start pulling out your phone. Jason never. <laughs> so they, how much did you say? <laughs> Transferring money over onto your card. <laughs> but I think they want to really hammer home the point that it was eight men who blocked this. So I wonder if it got to the Senate and they're like, all right, guys, we've just fixed the pollution problem in our city. What's uh, what's next in the agenda? Someone gets up. We're uh, we're thinking of making it a crime to send someone an unsolicited dick pic. Senator, how do you feel about that? Um, I think that's a um, really uh, good idea. Senator, can you please um, put your phone away while you're speaking? Uh, that's uh, something that I'll look to approve in the next um, couple of days. Not now. Not now. We've only Not got right now. We've only got today to approve or... No. To, no. No. No to the uh, unsolicited dick pics? No to, uh, we, we will get on top of that starting tomorrow. Okay? We, we can't that... actually do it tomorrow. This is the only day that we can do it. Phil? Yep. Yeah. You've got to understand that I have sent maybe close to a thousand cock flicks. But th- they've been solicited, the girls. You didn't just send them out of the blue, did you? The Senate will now move on to the next item on the agenda. Um, obviously, this is a silly thing to be talking about. And we're going to move on swiftly. I'll resign. <laughs> you just see him like the flash go into his crush after that. <laughs> He's like, thank goodness. <laughs> Gladys, check your inbox. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Is that Gladys Berejiklian or yeah, Gladys in? Yeah. Oh, it is Gladys. That's very Specifically. <laughs> Gladys, yeah. Very Apparently, she's a freak as hell, but anyway, continue. I mean... Not the story I have here. No, no, no. But yeah, so uh, good on those men. You know, <laughs> Where from here? Where if, from if here? You, if you take unsolicited dick pics away from us straight white men, I'm not, what do we have left? I'm not confident what enough. What do we in that have shit? left? I, you know, it's, I couldn't do that. You're taking away our rights. 
I don't think you're taking away our rights. I think um, you're stopping you're stopping a bad thing from occurring because I know somebody last night they took to their story to talk okay. about a guy yeah. who was uh, asking to pay her. It was like I'll make oh. it two hundred. I'll make it two hundred. Okay. And then she goes, no, no, no. She's like, no, no, no. Haven't seen each other for a while. That'd be very strange. She goes, he goes, three hundred. He's like, no, nah, I'm just not getting in. He's like, fine. 400. She's like, no. And he's like, I have 500 and I'll send you a picture of my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking this is going to win her over. And she goes, oh my God. He, he thinks the money is the issue. He's like, I'm not offering enough money. <laughs> She'll do it, but for the right price. Yeah. Oh. It's like when you, um, that's the equivalent when you're playing Monopoly and you're doing a trade with someone. You're like, I'll give you these two properties. <laughs> plus... I will throw in my get out of jail free card. It's like, I yeah. don't want that. <laughs> I already said I no to that. everything before him. <laughs> He's like, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, I need to tip you over the edge. You're close. I can tell it's going to just take something a little extra. I'll send my dick soft though. You don't get to see it hard. <laughs> oh, you don't oh. get that, that. Fine, hard. <laughs> you get fine. But it will be crusty. No balls. <laughs> fine, balls included. Oh, very dumb. Eight thousand dollars and just the tip. Fourteen grand, just my foreskin. All right, my whole real estate portfolio. Okay, plus I'll give you two pictures of my abs, and maybe I'll do a bend over shot. I'll bend over so you can see the them hanging between my legs. All right, my all, my, all my stock investments. And just my taint. My Yu-Gi-Oh cards. <laughs> I will throw in a Charmander. <laughs> All right, Charmander is what I call my penis. I, I'm going to have to move on for this. You'll There'll be to. a lot of uncomfortable pieces. All right. Good. KFC customers. Yep. Oh, shit. That's not... Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. KFC customers, unbelievable drive through fail. Ah, oh, unbelievable. Let's the go. driver of a caravan has had their craving for fried chicken rudely interrupted uh-huh. after they became stuck in a drive through The caravan's roof was too high for the clearance. So they've just gotten stuck going through the drive through Yeah. They have. They always have the clearance um, yeah, it's height, quite, yeah. It's quite obvious. It's the, the clearance height. But do you know how do you know what, how high your car is? Do you know the exact measurements? No. So let's say you you drove into a mini KFC. Mm-hmm. You would have had the exact same problem. Yep. Um, I probably would have been able to judge if I had a massive caravan behind <laughs> me, though. But they yeah. did fine him one hundred and twelve dollars. That's that doesn't seem like that's a weird number. It's not a lot, but it's like a weird thing to be fined for. Like it's not like Maccas are fining well, him for all the slowing the business. Well, they're causing damage to the property. Yeah. Well, I just think it's unreasonable to assume someone who owns a caravan is going to be able to read. <laughs> So having those clearance signs, it's not really doing anything. You should just have like a person going, no, like their hands just in front doing like one of those, almost like a, like one of those plane, you know, on the, on the, on the, what is it called? The top. So we had um, a little bit of technical difficulties. Yeah. Yeah. Your name this one. yeah. yeah. Back to hell. So you're talking about <laughs> seeing people with caravans can't read. Yeah. Um, which is just, it's a fair enough thing to assume. Completely fair. Totally, you know, not unfounded at all. Not something nasty to say. So what car, what do you drive? It's a, so it's an Audi. With a, it, with a caravan on the back? No, 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 no. I can read. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, there was something else that I no, was No, no, I was, I, was, uh, I was raised better. They took it to Facebook, though. Oh, good, good. I go, people at Facebook have little sympathy for the, like, for the driver. Yeah. They go, unbelievable. Simply beyond comprehension, one man said. <laughs> it's not beyond comprehension. That, that, that tweet came from the guy who was behind <laughs> Directly him. Directly behind him. <laughs> he wrote, you're fucking <laughs> kidding me. You're joking, because he would have already know. ordered it. Would have happened at that like little turning no. bay where they're just collecting it. But ima- he could, imagine he hasn't even gone into order yet. And they're like, oh, you just park and walk in. You think I'm going to fucking walk what? in? The, uh, no, no, the car just, park's empty. Just open the drive through window, pour it straight into my mouth, and let me <laughs> keep going. <laughs> 
I don't have time. I don't have time to get in. I have time to dislodge my caravan from the drive through but I don't have time to walk in the doors. Some people, unbelievable, really. A- another man wrote, when being lazy backfires. Ooh. Which is relevant to what I just said. True. Yeah. Get him. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. get him. That's, that's summing it up in, in one thing, but one yeah. woman simply called it embarrassing. Oh, well, she's done you. Not done, she's not done me. She steals you. But it is embarrassing. You know, have a bit of, um, I don't know, street knowledge. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But well, don't drive. If it's not going to clear, it's like you don't see Gerald who drives a truck back and forth from New South Wales to Perth regularly thinking it's a good idea to cop in the driveway. I've, ne- yeah, I've never drive s- through. I can't say I've ever seen a truck go through a drive. It's no. quite, quite a narrow corner. Obvious, And there's an obvious reason why. Do you reckon he was getting close and he was like doing that thing and he's like, oh yeah, you can make it, you can make it, it's going to be good, it's going to be good. He could and have. then it just goes. I like the idea that he knows it's too big. And so he's just going straight from the, the end of the driveway, full pelt, <laughs> walks the driveway, <laughs> screaming his order as he goes past. <laughs> Single box meal! <laughs> Gets oh, caught so fucking good. stuck under there. It's like, ah, we nearly cleared it. <laughs> oh, oh. Half, <laughs> half his shit has flown off. Are you saying he's doing it to get, like, because he thinks if he goes really fast, he'll get through? Or yeah. he's, like, had a bad experience he's, there before? He's seen he's a like, couple oh, of... I'm making sure nobody else eats. <laughs> <laughs> it could be that. I was thinking he's seen a couple of Fast and Furious movies. He knows if he <laughs> builds up enough speed, he can clear it. Yeah, but maybe, sure. he's, maybe he's just trying to stop. Everyone else from eating at KFC. Yeah, could be. Could could be. be. Who knows? Speaking of massive dicks, man, <laughs> man with world's largest penis weighs it to prove it's real. Real big. So do you like? Do you like a little thing. command of fucking dick and penis when you go into? No, the I have a I have a function on my computer where anytime someone posts anything with the word <laughs> penis in it. I get a notification. <laughs> Lockie was banned from pornography at a young age, so he has to use these kinds of things. Oh, the Sydney Morning Herald has done me wonders. <laughs> um, a man who claims he has the world's largest penis has reportedly weighed it to prove it's real. Um, according to Team Z, Roberto Esquivel Cabrera... I'm sh- I good sh- attempt. That was a good attempt. You know, right? I think I meant to roll my eyes. That was good. Roberto... Es- Esquivel, es- 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 no, Esquivel, Esquivel, I think Esquivel, it is. Cabrera weighed what is believed to be his 18.9 inch member on camera at his home in Saltillo, Mexico, and it came out at two pounds. I hope he calls, because he's from like Mexico, I hope he calls it El Chapo. Nice, because El Chapo means shorty. Oh! Yeah, El Chapo, that would be very ironic. It would be. He calls his it would be El Chapo. <laughs> Like, met, if even more reason to do it. Meets a girl. She's like, so I hear you call your penis El Chapo. That's weird. He's like, yeah, let me show you. <laughs> oh, whips it out, breaks the fucking table. Oh. This is the best part that I, I love this. Jeez. Mr. Esquivel Cabrera has said he wants the Guinness, bo- uh, Guinness Book of World Records to recognize it and previously had an x-ray to prove its veracity. Oh, well, he deserved it. Best part. But doctors are reported to have said 13 inches are just excess skin. This oh. man has 13 inches of foreskin, which I mean, what oh. does that leave? 5.9 inches of actual penis. Man's walking around with an elephant truck. He's got a deflated balloon on the end of his dick. Just like, you, I, I honestly, if I had that, that's where my wallet's go. <laughs> oh, the 52-year-old reportedly said it had caused him to lose jobs and harmed his relationships, meaning he's forced to live alone and forage for food. Wait, what? Walked, no, no, it can make no, sense. No, but how do his workers know it? He walked, he, he's just he, definitely a freak who like, tells walked, everybody it's like his most interesting thing about him. He walks in with his penis out. And like, oh, what is that? It's like, it's my, Specially made it's my pants? My 19 inch penis. No, it looks like a five inch penis <laughs> with like, <laughs> oh. with a stocking on the end. What are you doing, brother? And I like that it says he had to forage for food. He walks around the forest and uses it like a vacuum. That's where he stores it. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. It's like, oh, do you know that? It's no, like, everybody has the cat lady or something in their neighbourhood. They have <laughs> Big Dick Guerrero or whatever <laughs> that name is. Cabrera. Cabrera, yeah. Yeah. El Chapo. Well, uh, and, they, and this is how they end the, uh, the story. He added that his penis was also too large for him to kneel in church and pray. 
<laughs> I wonder if he's paying for like a bigger one, a smaller one, or like, uh, or if he's just paying for a better life. I wonder if at that point he's just like, this has affected me so bad. Well, he could go get surgery, but literally throughout the entire thing, all he says is, all I want is to get Guinness World Record recognition. He's a man on a mission. You can ex- you can respect a man on a mission. Imagine the guys coming in to do it for him, though, because you need to have somebody witness the Guinness World Record, like, be done. Yeah. So you'd have people in his, you know, room and be like, do you want me, do you want me to get hard? Or, do I, is that required? Is that required or is it strictly um, just no blood? Is, is this a no blood record or a full blood record? Because I prefer it to be soft because it actually gets smaller when it is hard. Oh. The physics don't make sense, but it basically goes into my body when I become erect. So are off we measure it whilst I'm soft. Oh. <laughs> They're oh. like, Brett, mate, you can, you, you can probably do whatever you want. It's yeah. up to you. It's, it's 18, 19 inches, I think. So, yeah, do you think the you. oil was a good choice? Or? The oil? <laughs> he's rubbed himself. <laughs> yeah. in, they walk in, he's already naked. He's like covered in baby mate, oil. Mate, it's like we're not taking a photo of this. That would be incredibly yeah. we, we were actually going to put it just in like a CAT scan so we can see it through <laughs> your clothes. You didn't need to be naked at all. <laughs> well, it's not like he's answering a door. Where are they doing this? Just in the forest somewhere? No, he t- he's outside the Guinness Book of World Records, like, headquarters. <laughs> just banging on the doors. Hey! <laughs> just let me in! Windmilling it around <laughs> against the window. Hey! Hey, baby! Guys, no. guys, look! <laughs> surely that's a record. <laughs> Stop, sir. Stop slapping the window. Let me in, then. Open the window and I'll, and I'll stop slapping. <laughs> all, sir. The, all the police sir. are too scared to tackle him and shit. <laughs> Yeah, oh, you can see it's like a whip any time they get too close. It's like, could you do it? Could you go do it? Oh, I don't want to do this shit again. Oh. Oh, there was a homeless girl on the street the other day trying to piss on me. Oh. He lassos them. <laughs> <laughs> it's around my neck. It's around my neck. He's choking me out. Oh, yeah, right. It's again. <laughs> it's again. He rides in on a horse and this is <laughs> lassoing his dick around. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, true Western. <laughs> a true Western. Oh. That's so disturbing. Oh, All that's right. very good. That's I very think good. we're about at 30, 35, so do we want to... No, we'll do, do, no, mug the segment off. It's just going to be dirty. Yeah. But enough dirty chat for one, big, one uh, episode. Eh? Big, big sex and uh, dick theme today. Yeah, apologies, um, Tamara Smith, if you're listening. <laughs> Signaling around? Yeah. <laughs> yes. you love that. She'd love that. She'd love it. She'd love a she'd shout love out straight after the, the big penis story. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Good chance I just edit all that out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. All right, do a little let, like an outro. Um, so this episode's had a big dick and sex theme, which is great. No, we start that. Do it again. Do it again. No, you mean start again. Don't, don't, don't mention the cocks again. Do um. like, <laughs> feel like, yeah, it's been a bit... Um, it's been a really hard episode. Yeah, a lot of long chat today. Yeah. A lot of really long chat. I think we really we really grabbed those stories by the ball today. Mm-hmm. Real mm-hmm. good grip, both hands. Yes. Sometimes yeah. caravan's just too big. Yeah. But oh happens. It does happen. Uh, we appreciate you listening. Um, we'd also like to thank can you stop shaking your leg? If that's fucking caught into the microphone, I'm gonna kill you. Because if the if if the audio is just like uh, I'm going okay, going to okay. I'm sorry I'm sorry uh, I wasn't even doing it that much but it's when I was putting my it was, it was being a really civil ending to the podcast <sighs> but now yeah. I'm just mad anyway the phone downstairs is ringing it's a sign to we should just stop this bye now. it's been great thanks for listening um, we'll be back soon hopefully by this point we have launched our Instagram page and mm. started promoting everything so if you're following that thanks we appreciate it if you're not sleep with one eye open